Hey dudes and girls, we're here with the five common mistakes you can make when performing the squat. Good job, Michaela. Now the squat should be a very natural and also very functional movement. And if you wanna do it right, you wanna make sure you avoid these mistakes we're gonna be going over in this video. And some you might recognize, some you might not, but it's always a good reminder to go over what not to do in this type of movement. So without further ado, let's get started. So first common mistake is gonna be rocking forward. A squat is a huge compound movement and it requires a lot of muscle engagement. But unfortunately, a lot of people won't be able to engage their glutes and hamstrings properly. And you'll see this by, once you get in the squat, the downward position, you're gonna rock forward and really rely on your quads to do most of the work. So this is not only overdeveloping your quads, but it's also putting a lot of pressure on your knees. So there's one simple way to practice on how to get those glutes and hamstrings fired up and making sure you're squatting properly. Okay, so we have Michaela here to demonstrate an easy exercise you can perform to really try to get that mind-muscle connection with your glutes and hamstrings and also make sure they're engaged properly. Now, a lot of times you'll see someone sitting down on a chair and once they sit down, they're gonna rock forward to get back up, creating a little bit of momentum and relying a lot in that knee extension, those quads to take over. But what you wanna do is grab a seat or a bench and practice squatting down or sitting down and coming back up. And as you can see, once she squats down, She's not rocking forward. She's keeping those glutes and hamstrings engaged, keep them nice and tight, and then squatting straight back up. You wanna be in unison with your hips and knees at the same time rather than rocking forward, and then relying on your knees and your quads to do most of the work and basically shutting off your hamstrings and glutes. So rocking forward, definitely a big common mistake you can see in the gym. So you wanna avoid that as much as you can. It's definitely gonna save your knees and you're not gonna become a quad dominant and rely too much on them Further down the line, you're gonna have a lot of asymmetrical issues and also possibly some knee problems as well. So easy way, just practice that squat, body weight, sit down, sit back up, and make sure you're activating those glutes and hamstrings. Common mistake number two is thinking that one size fits all, meaning that if you see someone squatting and you say, wow, that's a perfect squat, I wanna basically do that exact same thing, might not really work the same. Everyone's morphology is a little bit different, their body structure, the length of their femur, their torso. So what you're gonna to have to do is find the proper position that works the best for you, either a little bit wider of a stance, the upper body positioning, you know, the bar positioning, what have you to make sure you're doing a squat that is gonna fit you. If you're 6'3", you're not gonna squat the same as someone that's 5'6". You know, their leg bone structure is a lot shorter, um, their torso could be longer or shorter, so to see their body positioning in a squat and try to mimic that might not really work out for you. Good case in point, Michaela was performing squats and she was having a little bit of knee issues and some lower back issues, but the problem was her positioning of her feet and the bar in her torso wasn't really fitting her personal needs, her morphology, because she's pretty tall, about six foot. Her leg length is pretty tall as well. It's pretty long. So <laughs> what happens is she has to adjust accordingly to make sure she can squat properly. So what happened is she widened her stance. She put the bar a little bit further back so that way when she bowed forward, the bar placement would be still midfoot and bone. It fixed the problem and it customized her squat to fit her perfectly. Common mistake number three is gonna be bar placement. Now we went over kind of the morphology, the one size doesn't fit all, and the bar placement kind of fits within that common mistake because a lot of times people will try to perform a high bar, meaning that the bar is placed a little bit higher on the traps there, kind of base the neck area, and when they squat what happens is it kind of wants to pull them forward because naturally, Maybe they're a little bit taller, they wanna bend forward a bit more to get in that proper squat position, and the bar all of a sudden is placed more at the balls of their feet or even their toe section, it's gonna to wanna to pull them forward, and that's also gonna make you wanna rock forward as well to try to compensate um, for the positioning of the bar. So what you wanna do is you wanna roll the bar back a little bit, so that way when you squat down, if you're bending forward, the bar placement is gonna be right over midfoot. If you watch yourself squat straight up and down, you see that straight line where the bar is, 
again placed over right over midfoot so that structure is very strong common mistake number four is going to be bad mobility so you need a lot of mobility and flexibility in your hips but also a lot in your ankles as well sometimes ankles are going to be neglected and if your ankle mobility is poorer well unfortunately it's going to be a lot harder to get in the proper squat form now what happens is if you if you have bad ankle mobility it's going to kind of radiate up into different areas other areas are gonna to wanna to compensate for the poor mobility in your ankle. So if your ankles can't get in the proper position, your hips are gonna to try to compensate and take over, or your knees, they're gonna maybe turn in a little bit, try to make sure you get in that proper positioning. So what you wanna do is introduce a lot of ankle mobility, a lot of hip mobility. So for the mobility, there is some simple exercises you can do, especially in the ankle mobility, that's really gonna help you perform your squats correctly. One is gonna be the lateral squats. Very simple movement, you get a very wide stance. As you can tell, Michaela has her feet pointed straight forward at all times as well, and she's gonna be squatting laterally from side to side. Now, this is not only warming up your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, but it's also working a lot on ankle mobility. And one thing you really have to pay attention to and make sure is that your feet are pointing forward at all times. And this is really gonna help with the ankle mobility. Make sure you stretch and are flexible enough to get into that proper position so that way you can perform the squat properly and it's gonna be very comfortable for you as well. So you can do a lot of mobility drills before you squat to make sure you're nice and mobile, warmed up and ready to go before just jumping right into squats, feeling real stiff. And we've said a lot of times before, even do like a warm up set in your squats really lightweight to really check your form and go through almost that mental checklist of certain things that you have to remember. Either be foot placement, you know, knees out, hips back, things like that. So that way you're doing it under a lighter load rather than a heavy load and then end up injuring yourself in the long run. Last common mistake, and this should be a no-brainer, but unfortunately a lot of people fall victim to it, myself included, especially when I was younger, is gonna be not going too heavy or ego lifting. Squat is a big compound movement, and of course you wanna impress some people sometimes. A lot of people in the gym, they're looking, you put on the weight, or your buddies, you all get together and you start having a squat off. Not the way it sounds. But what you wanna do is outdo each other. So you put a lot more weight, put more weight, put more oh, weight. Go. Oh yeah. So you want to really be careful in this kind of thing because of course if you go too heavy, your form immediately wants to fail. Your back bends, your knees buckle, um, you know, you rock forward, a lot of pressures on the knees, the lower back, even your neck, the bar placement might be wrong. So you have to be very, very careful because of course if you injure yourself when you're younger, it can carry on until you're older and it can only get worse as well if you don't fix your form and make sure you take care and strengthen those muscles that can really help support that structure those joints so just take it light make sure you have that perfect form and just slowly progress up in weight from there and always make sure that you're warmed up properly as well so last mistake no-brainer but hey it's still very important there we go that is five common mistakes you can make when performing the squat hopefully you learned a thing or two and if not eh, it's just a healthy reminder of some things to always keep in mind when performing the squat huge thanks to Michaela thanks for helping out Always appreciate it. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay buff. Yeah.